One thing your cells need to survive is energy. The energy source of a cell comes from a molecule known as ATP. This molecule is generated by a component of the cell known as the mitochondria, which are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. However, mitochondria can become dysfunctional with age, and this is one of the hallmarks of ageing, which may explain increased fatigue and reduced strength with age. So what can be done about this? Well, currently, there is interest in using the supplement urolithin A. In this video, we will take a look at this compound, see what it is, and whether there are any benefits to increasing your urolithin A levels through supplementation. So to start with, what is urolithin A, and where do you get urolithin A from? Well, what you are looking at now is the chemical structure of urolithin A. However, that is not the best place to begin. In fact, it is best to begin with a diverse group of polyphenol compounds called elegitanins. These compounds, better known as ETs, can be found in a variety of foods such as berries and nuts, of which pomegranates are a major source of in humans. After consuming ETs from your diet, they are broken down in the gut, and if you are one of the lucky few that has the right microbiota in your gut, those then produce urolithins such as urolithin A. So urolithin A is a form of postbiotic. It is produced by the gut microbiota. It isn't something we get directly from food. It must first be processed. But what does urolithin A actually do and what are its links with mitochondria and ageing? Well, a lot of interest around urolithin A came from a study published in 2016 that gave the compound to worms and saw it extended their lifespan by just over 40%. Importantly, lifespan extension was still achieved when the worms were treated with urolithin A for short periods of time during adulthood. This is an important finding as other interventions often require lifelong exposure. Another interesting discovery from this publication was to understand how urolithin A may be extending the lifespan of the worms. What was discovered was that mitochondria were essential for the lifespan extension. Another study found that urolithin A increased muscle function and running endurance in mice by over 50%. But this is all data from worms and mice. What about in humans? Do we even need to take additional urolithin A? Well, as we saw earlier, our body technically doesn't make urolithin A. It gets synthesised by the bacteria in our guts when we consume foods containing ETs. However, not all bacteria that reside within our guts possess this activity, and there is also variation within the human population, with some people possessing higher abundance of enzymes that can make urolithin A than others. To solve this issue, Scientists in Switzerland found a way to manufacture a molecularly identical pure form of urolithin A, mitopure. A recent study randomised 66 healthy adults aged 65 to 90 years old to either 1 gram daily urolithin A or placebo. Whilst the treatment with urolithin A had no impact on the 6-minute walking test, Participants showed a significant improvement in muscle endurance for both hand and leg skeletal muscles. Importantly, the randomised clinical trial found that urolithin A supplementation was safe and well tolerated throughout the four-month testing period. The FDA granted a favourable, generally recognised as safe review for urolithin A as a safe ingredient for food or dietary supplements. Another randomised controlled trial in middle-aged 40 to 65-year-olds overweight subjects found that Mitopure had exercise-like effects on muscle strength. After four months of taking Mitopure, participants increased leg muscle strength by 12%, all while not changing their exercise routines. The same scientists that made these discoveries have now launched a new clinical trial to explore the potential benefits of Mitopure for performance and recovery of elite athletes. The urolithin A supplement used in the human study is better referred to as Mitopure, which as we saw in the study is safe and well tolerated. 
you can visit www.timelinenutrition.com to learn more about urolithin A and whether supplementation may be right for you.